the solar eclipse, what to expect from your plumbing system. This video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro.com. Okay, guys, we know the solar eclipse is coming. Do you know what it's gonna do to your plumbing system? I've done massive amounts of research and we've got some things here you need to be worried about. But stay till the very end because I'm gonna tell you what you can do to avoid any of these problems. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, first of all, number one, the Eclipse Water Vortex. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but you know, on the other side of the world, when you flush a toilet, well, the water goes the other way, okay? So it does, it goes the opposite direction. Now, we're going to experience this just during the peak of the solar eclipse. When the sun is completely gone, when you can't see anything but the little ring around it, you need to know, run in, flush your toilet, see what it does. Now, this is not gonna be a problem. It's not gonna damage your system or anything, but you wanna make sure you do this right in the middle of the solar eclipse, because if you don't, well, then your toilet may get stuck going the wrong way and the way our plumbing systems are designed, that's not gonna work right. Remember, right at the peak, right when that sun's right there and the moon's right there blocking it, run inside, flush your toilet, make sure it goes backwards. That way you know everything will be okay when you get back to normal. Now, number two, a solar flare flush. Now, this one is a good one because, well, your toilet can absorb a lot of energy from the solar eclipse. And then what happens is when you flush it, you're going to get a ton of power, a ton of force. You're going to get a flush so strong that Skip it up and, up. and you may have to call a plumber out to reset it. So the solar flare flush is one you really do need to be careful of. If it absorbs that solar energy, man, it, it could be really catastrophic problems for your plumbing system. Now, if you happen to be in the shower, be very careful because the third problem is the eclipse powered shower. Now, Eclipse-powered showers are really not a bad thing. You're just gonna get a lot more pressure. And if you like a really, really hot shower, it's liable to feel a little bit hotter. So the Eclipse-powered shower is one thing you need to be aware of, but only if you're in the shower at that time. You're probably safe if you shower up to about 30 minutes afterwards. Anything over than that, you'll be fine. But within the center of the total Eclipse and 30 minutes, be very careful because you're liable to get more pressure out of your shower than you've ever experienced. Now, number four, and this is one to be very, very careful of, moonlight plumbing services. You've heard of midnight plumbing services. You know, the guys that come out only around midnight and they, they do shady work. They do it when they're not at their normal jobs where they're really getting paid to do plumbing. Moonlight plumbing services are what happen only during a total eclipse. And you need to be very, very careful of these companies because you're not going to see them again till August 12th, 2045. So if you have a problem, if you need any warranty work done, if you need anything, well, you're going to be waiting a long, long time. Now, number five is eclipse sinkholes. Now, these are ones that if you have a septic system, you need to be worried about because something about the solar eclipse, the, the total eclipse, causes the sinkholes near septic systems. Now, if you've got a septic system and you walk outside and there's a sinkhole there and well, it's full of septic junk, be very, very careful. Wait till the next day to call a septic company. Now, plumbers normally don't fix this, but I know about this, so I really do. I wanna make you aware of it. The solar eclipse sinkholes are something, if you've got a septic system, be very aware of it. And it really doesn't matter if it's aerobic or non-aerobic, you gotta be careful of this either way. Okay, now those are the problems you need to worry about. But here's what I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna tell you how to eclipsify your plumbing. Now this is something that really, it's not a bad thing. It's something that if you do it before the eclipse, you won't have any problems at all. Okay, first of all, you have to line your plumbing system up, the pipes up with the exact path of the total eclipse. So get your degree finder, get online, because it could be different in different parts of the United States, but Get your plumbing pipes in a line with the eclipse. If you don't do this, you could have problems. But if you'll align your plumbing system with the total eclipse, you won't have any problems. This is something that, man, it works. It's proven. We've actually done it in the past. So this is something that if you'll do it, this can solve you a lot of problems. Now, the other one is charge your water heater with solar energy. Okay, a lot of water heaters tend to go out during the solar eclipse. And it's only during a full eclipse, which we are going to experience April the 8th. So charge your water heater with solar energy. Now, how do you do that? You put solar panels up on your roof, 
you plug your water heater into those solar panels. That way it's already got that solar energy flowing through it. Once you get that solar energy flowing through it, man, you're good. And this can save you from having to purchase a new water heater. This is one thing I checked. Insurance does not cover. If you do not charge your water heater with solar energy and your water heater goes out, it's on you, not your insurance company. Now, the last thing, and these are ones, look, if you're a plumber and you provide these services, make sure you let your people know, but you need to do a post-eclipse plumbing inspection. Now, a lot of people don't even think about this, okay? And if you don't think about it and you don't do it, this could lead to some very serious problems with your plumbing system in the long run. And guys, trust me, I've been doing research on this, so I know these things work. First of all, listen for cosmic gurgles. Now, you know that I'm sponsored by Leak Pro. Leak Pro is a great product to go out and listen to your plumbing system with. You can use the sidekick or the probe, but you want to listen to not just the water lines, but also the sewer lines. If you've got cosmic gurgles, you need to flush your system. I mean, flush it. Doesn't matter if it's the water system or the sewer system. If you've got cosmic gurgles, flush it. If it's the sewer system, you may need a camera inspection. Now, the last thing to check is if you see any signs of stardust in your water. Now, this is something that, that most good plumbers can inspect. You probably want to make sure you have an older plumber. These young kids, I tell you what, they just don't get it. Because if there's any traces at all of stardust in your water, you're liable to have serious problems later. This is going to affect every one of your appliances that have a flux capacitor in it. So your refrigerator, your washer, your dryer, even though it's not hooked up to the water, they're relatively close. It could jump over. And guess what? Your dishwasher. Holy oh. <laughs> Your refrigerator, your washer and dryer, and your dishwasher. Guys, be careful. Cosmic dust, even though it looks beautiful, do not play with it. Do not get it on you. If you do, rinse it with cool water, not hot. Okay? It loves hot water. It'll spread. Rinse it with cool water, and you'll take care of it. So guys, there's a lot of things going on around this solar eclipse. This is a full total eclipse here in the North Central Texas area. Be careful and don't let people scam you and make you believe things that really aren't true. Now, we all know that none of these things are true. What? Be careful, have fun, protect your eyes, but don't worry about your plumbing system. The only way this is going to affect our plumbing system here in North Texas is we've got so many people coming to town. It's going to put a taxation on our sewer system and our water system, but we can handle it. I hope y'all enjoyed this. And if you did, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything.